Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I'm here to do the June 2023 tarot reading, and this is going to be for the sign of Libra, sun, moon, and rising. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers, the highest good of all. And for the beginning of the month, I'm going to take the top card. Middle of the month, I'll take a card from the center. And the end of the month, I'm going to take the bottom card. And let's see what we have. Okay, we start out with the Eight of Cups. And the Eight of Cups is you walking away from something that you may have invested a lot of your time, energy, and emotions. Because the cups are our emotions, okay? You're not fulfilled. You're tired of trying. You're walking away from this dis disappointment and you're pursuing a new path. You might not know where you're going, but you just know you cannot stand this situation any longer. Okay, so you're now turning your back on a situation, walking away from it, going for something better, okay? And this card represents something that maybe has held you back for a very long time. And maybe you didn't want to leave because you invested a lot of emotional investment in it, a lot of time and energy. And before you found it was difficult to walk away and move on, well, you're at the point where you're done. You're done. You're finally moving away from this situation. And that's a good thing. And then in the middle of the month, we have the Six of Pentacles. So this is a card of giving and receiving. So you could be receiving something that maybe you need help with. Or if you are abundant at this time, you could be giving to others. Um, this is also asking you to examine in your life if people are reciprocating as much as you do for them, uh, for you, uh, because all balanced relationships are an equal amount of give and take. So you may want to examine your relationships to see, you know, if people are reciprocating properly and if they deserve to still be in your life. Because I have a feeling that whatever you're walking away from, whatever situation, it was not a reciprocal situation. It was a one-way street where you were always giving and you were always doing and the other person wasn't wasn't doing it in return, was not reciprocating. So you may want to examine your relationships to see what else you may need to walk away from. And then at the end of the month, we have the Wheel of Fortune. So this is great because if you've been having a, a, a turn of bad luck lately or not so good luck, you're fortune is about to happen. The wheel is turning in your favor. This is a card of good karma. So if you've been doing good deeds, you're going to finally get the good deeds coming back to you because whatever we put out, we get back. Okay. So if we're doing bad things, <laughs> expect karma for bad things. If you've been doing good things and you've been staying in integrity and, and being a decent person, um, then this is a wonderful thing because this is a new cycle beginning, okay? It's going to bring you positive change and fortune. This is also known as the destiny card, okay? So it's important to make the most of this fortunate time at the end of the month, okay? Because change is always just around the corner. So if you've been down on your luck, Things are about to turn in your favor. This is a good omen at the end of the month. Wow, what an amazing month for you. If you've enjoyed this reading, I would appreciate it if you would please hit the like button to help this channel get more exposure and to grow so I could continue to bring you these readings. Share the video and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.